Creighton announced a new athletic director here at DJ Soko Arena. I'm John Niatawa. Marcus Blossom uh, has taken over for a longtime AD, Bruce Rasmussen. After 27 years, Rasmussen announced that, he's going, that he was going to retire. That happened in July. And that initiated a month-long search for his replacement, uh, led by President Daniel Hendrickson, and ultimately brought us here today, where Marcus Blossom was introduced uh, in front of about 200 people inside this arena. A lot of excitement, a lot of energy um, from not only Marcus, but those who were in, in attendance. It's obviously a new day. It's, a, it's probably a little bit bittersweet for a lot of longtime Creighton supporters and employees because Bruce Rasmussen was so beloved. And Marcus touched on that. He said, well, I'm, I'm following a legend. Most people don't um, advise you to do that. But uh, he's ready for the challenge. He told us reporters in a, in a session after his press conference remarks that uh, that he's eager to see uh, what he can accomplish to build on what Bruce Rasmussen has already built. So, some things we learned today, um, not too much specific about the search. Uh, Father Hendrickson said there were about 20 to 25 candidates. That initial pool was whittled down to 8 to 10, and then finalists. Uh, the preliminary interviews were done via Zoom, and then they did some in-person interviews. Marcus Blossom, according to Father Hendrickson, um, emerged pretty early as a uh, as a top candidate and obviously ultimately got the job. Um, Marcus said he was, um, there were a couple of reasons why he took the job. I mean, he, he, he's been previously Brown, Providence, uh, Boston College, and then the Holy Cross AD for two years. And he was sort of invested at Holy Cross, obviously. He, he instituted a five-year strategic plan, the first that, uh, that that school had ever had, managing 27 sports, uh, was was uh, excited about sort of that that building process there. And then this opportunity jumps on, onto his desk. And, and so he had he did have to weigh um, kind of uh, quite seriously the pros and cons of, of whether or not it was time to make this leap. Ultimately, he decided to do so. Why did he do that? Well, there are a number of reasons. He said... Uh, the Big East Conference mattered to him, uh, the, the uh, status, the, the prestige of the league, um, the fact that Creighton, if it's competing in the Big East, it can compete nationally for championships. And so uh, that was an intrigue to him. He, he mentioned the academics, Creighton's uh, rating as an institution and the opportunities available for students. Um, he talked about the city of Omaha and being having the opportunity. He's the first black athletic director in Creighton history, um, just the third in, in the Big East currently and one of few across college sports in Division I in general. Uh, but So he's looking forward to uh, engaging with the community and, and, and being a leader um, in the city. So um, that was appealing to him as well. So um, he mentioned two student athletes. I mean, he said that's the reason why he got into this business. And so um, I think... You know, obviously, it's going to be different with him in charge. He's a 41-year-old with uh, uh, a different perspective, a different background than a guy like Bruce Rasmussen. But it does seem that, at least at their core, um, their philosophies align somewhat. I mean, Bruce Rasmussen, <laughs> day in and day out, said that he believed that he wanted to enhance the student-athlete's experience. That was his priority number one. And uh, Marcus Blossom echoed some of those same sentiments today. Um, he was a student athlete himself at Northwestern, a basketball player, and uh, valued that experience. And it set sort of the stage for where he's at now today. And he wants to kind of uh, give the athletes here at Creighton that same opportunity. So um, it, it was interesting, obviously, to, to hear from him for the first time. And, and uh, we'll see what's next. The new chapter of Creighton Athletics has begun. And uh, yeah, obviously, we'll see how, uh, how the uh, – athletic department evolves in such a critical time in, in, in the college sports landscape. For, John, for the Omaha World Herald, I'm John Niatawa. Thanks for watching.